So I've come down to Celsius again, for two reasons. Last time, I did a load of video and talking and the wind just ruined absolutely everything. So I had to do no sound, just video, which is a bit disappointing because I had a great time. Number two, I saw that there was a lifeboat station here. And it was, it was one of those ones that goes out into the sea and they can get the boat straight out onto the sea. But it's gone. So I saw it on Google and it's disappeared in the time since they took the last picture, which is a bit disappointing. So I'm out and we're going to try and do some more moody seascapes and we'll see how that goes. It's raining. I've already I started off around the corner, but I've had to come down here because it's just so windy, so wet, and I don't want to get water on my lens. That way is facing directly into the wind and it's going to be an absolute disaster if I try anything. So I've come around the corner and then the wind's going to come sort of from behind me, so it should be all right. Okay, so I've set my tripod up. I've put my polarizer on and I'm using it as a sort of ND filter to slow down the exposure because I haven't got any small enough ND filters to do the job, just so I can get that movement in the water. And I'm using this groin as a sort of lead-in line out to the post at the end of the groin. And I'm gonna try and capture some of the movement in the water and blur it out and make it look really, really nice. Hopefully it'll be moody enough. So I'm going to switch to manual focus so then I can use the live view without it hunting about while I'm trying to shoot. And I'm on about a sixth of the second at the moment, which isn't really long enough, but we'll see how they come out and then make a decision. So I'm waiting for the wave to come in and then when it starts to recede is when I'm shooting and it blurs it. It's not, it's not coming out great at the moment. The shutter speed's not really slow enough. Let's try and slow it down and see what happens. So I've just managed to get one that I really like the look of. Because of how the waves are falling and the fact that the waves aren't crashing parallel to the beach, they're sort of coming in diagonally. It means that the, the waves are sort of pouring over the top of the groin and it's creating these really nice patterns in a long exposure. So I'll put it up on the screen. I really like that one. It was taken at half a second F16 ISO 100 at 40 mil on a crop sensor. It's quite nice. What do you think? So I've moved slightly further along to a groin that's slightly further into the water and I'm going to try and catch the patterns. And over there it wasn't really working for various reasons but now the rain's started a bit more it's, it's going to make it even harder. You have to be continually wiping the lens. <laughs> the elements are against me. Uh, I think the tide's going out but I'm not certain. I haven't checked the times. I thought it was going to be low tide to be honest but I've obviously cocked up there, it looks the wrong day or something. I don't know. But first, let's wipe the lens. Uh, my poor new polarizer. Poor camera.
really is a battle against the elements. My hands are starting to go numb. So I haven't bothered using any graduated filters or anything because it's just gonna be a nightmare with all the, all the water. Still got the polarizer on, but that's, oh, it's covered in water. It's gonna be a nightmare. I think I might have to retreat to a hedge or something behind the hedge. So I'm sheltering behind this wall because I'm a bit cold. I'm absolutely soaked, camera's soaked. I'm going to try and do something a bit different. Uh, you see the pole at the end of there? I'm going to take a really long exposure of it and just have the pole at the bottom of the frame. Go really minimal. The elements really are fighting me today. This is miserable. It's all good fun. Last time I did a whole spiel about how I'd never done this before and I really loved it and I'm not quite feeling that same <laughs> excitement this time. It's a bit grim, a bit bleak. Certainly moody but not not rediscovering that passion today. If it doesn't stop raining soon, I think I'm gonna head home. I'm getting cold and I really want nice warm cup of tea. It's a shame. So the rain's let up a little bit, so I've come back out again. And I'm shooting a very similar composition to the last time I was down here. It's only one or two composi compositions that are going to be any good. I regret saying that, actually. I'm going to get slaughtered for that. But So I'm using the groin again, out to a pole. This time I'm going really wide, close, pointing, pointing down slightly. So I can get the trails from the sea as it retreats back. Here we go. Now... Treating now. Just like the patterns that are formed when it's when the sea is rolling back across the stones and pebbles. Could stay here all day, I think, if it wasn't so cold and wet.
And with that last one, I think I'm going to call it a day because I'm getting freezing cold. I'm soaked through. This waterproof is meant to be waterproof, but I'm still wet underneath. Got some nice ones, I think. We'll see when I get home and edit them. Bit of a grim day, but it's nice and moody. What's there not to like? Until next time, see ya.